In this episode, I will show you how to create a new tenant from within the Blazor Plate environment and sign up for a new account on the tenant portal. Also, I will show you how the authorization system in Blazor Plate prevents unauthorized users from accessing any restricted resources. First of all, let's go to the Blazor Plate website to create a new demo tenant. When you click on the live demo link, you will be transferred to the host app. The host app allows us to create a new tenant. In the tenant name text box, I'm going to use a virtual business name as the name of my new tenant. Notice that the system generates a new subdomain based on the tenant name that I've just typed. When I click on the create my tenant button, the system will transfer me to my tenant portal. Now I'm going to use the default admin credentials to log into my tenant portal. These credentials have been generated automatically during the tenant creation. As I have successfully logged into my tenant portal, I'm going to try to access a restricted resource such as the users list page. I can access this page because I have valid credentials with sufficient permissions. To see how the system detects unauthorized access to this page, I'm going to log out, and then I'm going to try to access the users list page without signing into my account. As we can see, the system automatically transferred me to the 401 page, which indicates that I'm not authorized to access the users list page. The 401 page contains a redirect link to the login page, so I'm going to click on that link to log in as an admin once again. After login, the system will automatically transfer me to the same users list page that I requested previously. This time, I'm allowed to create, retrieve, update, and delete users as I have valid credentials with sufficient permissions. The authentication and authorization process will be addressed in more detail later in this series. Now I'm going to log out and sign up for a new user account to show you how the account registration process works in Blazorplate. I should receive the account confirmation link in my email inbox so I can use it to prove that the email I'm using in this sign-up form is an actual email. Instead, the system transferred me to an email confirmation page that includes a confirmation link as we don't have a real email sender service set up at this moment. I'm going to click on the confirmation link to confirm my new account. The system will verify the account confirmation link. If the confirmation link is valid and not expired, the system should respond with a message indicating that my account has been successfully verified. Now I can use my confirmed email as a username to sign into my demo tenant portal. Thank you for watching.